Today we're seeing if we can pull off the infinite card draw, infinite drain combo of Lich's Mastery and Quasar Augur of Agonies in Explorer. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Seth Radalev, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds, and we have a sweet one this week. We're heading to the Explorer format to see if we'd pull off the Quasar's Mastery combo, Quasa Augur of Agonies with Lich's Mastery for infinite card draw in draining and winning of the game. So let's talk about this deck, our main combo, all the backup combos, what we're trying to do, jump into some games, see if we can actually make it happen. So our main combo, the winning combo on last week's bowl, Lich's Mastery plus Kueza Augur of Agonies. Lich's Mastery, six mana enchantment with Hexproof. It says we can't lose the game. If we would gain life, we draw that many cards. Whenever we lose life, for each life we lose, we have to exile a permanent we control or a card from our hand or graveyard. So eventually we're gonna have to exile our Lich's Mastery if we run out of other stuff to exile. And then when Lich's Mastery leaves the battlefield, we lose the game. So the idea of this combo is we're combining Lich's Mastery with Kueza Augur of Agonies. Kueza says, when we draw a card, target opponent loses a life and gains a life. So if we can get both of these cards on the battlefield at the same time and either draw a card, which we'll do in our draw step naturally, or gain a life, we start an infinite loop. Kueza drains for one, which triggers Lich's Mastery because we gained a life, which draws us a card, which triggers Kueza to drain for one. So as long as the number of cards in our deck is greater than our opponent's life total, we'll just draw our entire deck and drain our opponent out of the game two card win the game combo. So that is the main thing we're trying to do. But we also have several backup combos. So Lich's Mastery, remember, if it leaves the battlefield, we lose the game. So one thing we can do with this deck is we're playing Farewell as defense. Our combo is pretty slow. So Farewell is just like, a super sweeper to keep us alive, but we can give our opponent the Lich's Master with Harmless Offering and then farewell to Exile All Enchantments, including the Hexproof Lich's Mastery. And as long as it's our opponent in control of the Lich's Mastery rather than us, they're just gonna lose the game on the spot to Lich's Mastery's trigger. We also have Demonic Pact, which works really well with Lich's Mastery. Since we can't lose the game, we're free to choose to lose the game mode on Demonic Pact. Also, it gains us life, which can draw us a bunch of cards with Lich's Mastery. So we can also just Demonic Pact, choose the three positive modes and before the negative mode, harmless offering it to our opponent. So they have to choose the lose the game mode and they die to it instead of us. We have chance for glory as well, which isn't a real combo, but if we have Lich's Mastery, we're free to take an extra turn and not die on our end step, which can help set up the Quasar combo. We also just have a ton of life gain stuff to work with Lich's Mastery, March of Wretched Souls, Sacred Fire, Maestro's Charm, removal that works with our Lich's Mastery life gain plan, Faithful Mending, Churn Sword Deck fills our graveyard for Lich's Mastery and draws us extra cards with its life gain. The Celestis, a mana rock to ramp into Lich's Mastery that also happens to gain us life when day becomes night. So all these cards are good on their own and they're also super synergistic with Lich's Mastery. So the other way we can win is just play Lich's Mastery and sling a bunch of life gain spells to draw a ton of cards, which will eventually find us our Kueza or find us our Farewell plus Harmless Offering, whatever combo we need to win the game. Mana base, a ton of different lands to try to make the four color mana work. In the sideboard, a bunch of removal for aggro decks, a little bit of life gain, some discarding counters for control, ley line of the void to deal with graveyard decks, and that is Kueza Mastery Combo for Explorer. That's our Gets the Odds deck for this week, so let's jump into some games and see, is it possible to combo Lich's Mastery with Kueza in the Explorer format? What other shenanigans can we pull off? Is Demonic that good? Can we Harmless offering it to our opponent? All the other stuff, let's find out. Thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoy it and I'll be back in a bit with the wrap up. Today's video is brought to you by Card Kingdom. You can pick up all the Magic the Gathering cards you need and support the show and even get a free MTG Goldfish sticker by heading over to cardkingdom.com slash MTG Goldfish. Against the odds time, we are playing some uh, Lich's Mastery Quasar combo in Explorer and uh, yeah, it's not gonna do it. One land, no keep. This hand's fine. We actually have a, well, I mean, we got two combo pieces. They're not related to each other. They're for different combos, but we have the Quasar and a Demonic Pact. Land go, uh, about it. Blood Crypt and Implement of Combustion. All right, well, land go. This deck land goes for the first like three turns, usually two or three turns. First two turns for sure, almost for sure. All right, Oswald Spicy. So opponent's some sort of Martifact deck, I guess? Well, land. Yeah. So Oswald, kind of like weird artifact birthing pot, I guess. Can do things, all right, Zach's Implement, draws a card. 
Opponent's deck does look kind of sweet. The synergy school. Oh my god. Only call Anvil. And experimental synthesizer. Sure, 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 sure. Draws a card. We'll do an Epicure. Opponent might be Landlight. Ooh, sacking right away. Right, gets a token. Draws a card. Sure. Do they have a land? Oh, all right. Well, they get to play one of the cards at least. Voldaren Epica. Down to 18. Guess we loot? I don't even know. We kind of like our hand, but we can discard a Faithful Mend. Oh, okay, well. We can discard many Faithful Mendings. Uh, all right, more lands. Well, we got a lot of looting, which is nice. And life gain. Do we play Demonic Pack? That's a real question. Eh, might as well. Run it out. So we don't actually have an answer or a way to use this Demonic Pact at the moment, but hopefully we can draw into one with Demonic Pact. As Oswald probably needs to die. <laughs> That's the, the biggest upside of running out this Demonic Pact is it is a, it's not a good removal spell, but it does work. All right, opponent, more synthesizing, more card draw, more land. And I'm gonna sack the synthesizer, gets the implement. Yeah, we gotta kill this. This Oswald just, man, maybe Oswald's great in the right deck. I've never, I don't think we've ever played an Oswald deck, but it's looking very impressive here. I mean, I, oh no. <laughs> Main deck unlicensor is kinda going to wreck our faithful mendings. Ouch. Well, down to 17. Yeah, we gotta kill this Oswald. I would love to draw some cards, but we can't let our opponent just keep doing that. Well, that's a, that's a draw. Oh, uh, that changes things. Well, now I feel a hundred times better about things. That is an answer to our Demonic Pact, and also it's gonna deal with all of these annoying artifacts our opponent has. Well, life, life was bad, but now it's good. Hopefully it stays good forever. I'm on it, Smithy. Fines, nothing. And Oswald, okay, well. I think we probably just got a wrath now then. If we wait one more turn, we get one more mode out of Demonic Pact, but that gives our opponent a turn with Oswald Fiddlebender, and it also lets them draw a Thought Seize and take Farewell, and then we're done. If they go to eat the Faithful Mending, we're gonna flash it back here. Yeah, might as well gain some life at least. Maybe improves our hand. Celestis Farewell. Well, I'm gonna get rid of Celestis, and I really don't want to discard the Quasar because that's our combo piece. I guess it's a Farewell. Hopefully, we only need one? Yeah, I mean, now we're definitely Farewelling. Our opponent, with us discarding that Farewell, they gotta expect we got a Farewell in hand. Why in the world would you discard a Farewell if you didn't? Hmm, yeah, let's draw. Oh, well, now I wish we'd discard the Quasar if we if we had known we were going to draw another one. Well, farewell. Gotta go all modes. Not going to get the last mode. Well, thankfully not the last mode. Not going to get the last two modes on our Demonic Pact. So we're going to miss the discard and the lose the game, but there's no way we cannot do it. Uh, the good news is our opponent is back in the Stone Ages. <laughs> oh, fiddling is their artifacts burn opponent. Always a good feeling when your opponent j just spends their turn putting a medium companion in their hand. <laughs> like, they're just like, all right, like, grab Jengatha. That's a pretty good sign that things going on. Might as well uh, do some Faithful Mending right now and see if we play land or not. Trigger Equaza a bit. I guess we're back to discarding Farewells. <laughs> Awkward that they've all been in the top of our deck. I would rather have them floating around in the deck in case we need them again, but, I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. <sighs> Yeah, let's play the tower. Question as to whether I want to keep it for Faithful Mending, but I think we we gotta run it out. Bold Aaron Epica. And there's Big J. Alright, well, I mean, I guess this super fair quiz is kinda doing work. Do we want to Faithful Mending yet? I don't think we got a farewell yet. We're at 23 and our opponent doesn't have that much pressure. Yeah, let's uh let's just ship it. Oh my god, so many fiddles. So many fiddle benders. Yeah, well. Uh, that might mean we need to farewell next turn, honestly. Opponents. <laughs> finding more synthesizers. Drawing more cards. Well, Portable's dead, but they should probably just play it for Oswald value. It is something we can sack. 
I mean, we do have another Quaza in hand, so I guess we're fine just to farewell again. Who's gonna expect the fourth farewell? Hard to play around the fourth one. Well, Maple Mending. Double Harmless Offering. I mean, I could be good in the future. Pigeon Offering, Pigeon Land. Get some pings. I mean, Quaza has got what? Quite a bit of damage, seven-ish? Yeah, sounds we got another Quaza. The question is, do we do we wait? I think we just wrath. Get in with Quaza. Hit our opponent to ten. Sweep the board. The fiddle bender is what did it. If our opponent hand drawn the fiddle bender, if they hand drawn the fiddle bender, I think we would have let it go. But fiddle bender actually is ooh, getting rid of the anvil is nice. But fiddle bender does scare me. Who knows what insanity that could tutor up and wreck us with. Opponent, Epicures, Bloods, Discards, Glass Casket, Synthesizer, into another Glass Casket. Runs it out in case they do some fiddling. Oh, that's a good draw. Actually, wow, I think we just win next turn now. We have the Quaza, we got the Mastery. I think we just Mastery first. Mastery first. Opponent's only got a Epicure. And then we should have the win next turn. Quaza, Xander's Lounge, draw a card, start the fun. I think it's happening. I think it's really, truly actually happening. Yeah. And this is a combo. Already, right off the bat, those farewells bought us so much time. Bone at Odegal Anvil. Pings us. Sure, we'll exile Deserted Beach. But this just goes infinite, right? This should just go infinite. Down to 20. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exile whatever. Opponent would need one mana away to kill this at instant speed. Well, play Kueza. Cycle Xander's Lounge. There's a the card draw to trigger it. Start the fun. Boom. Boom. Drain you, ping you, drain you, ping you. Death is coming, and that's a GG's, and it worked. Oh my goodness, okay. That was good, that was real good. That was beautiful. That was beautiful. So what do we want against this deck? Opponent's playing Martifacts, I guess. Some sort of <laughs> Mardu artifact pile. Well, uh, the Void Wrens seem okay. The Farewells were clutch. Those were super good. But the Void Wrens, they can get rid of artifacts. I don't think we're gonna change a ton, honestly. Well, we got to see the combo. It worked, it worked. The Triumphs come through for the cycling. We don't have Chance for Glory. That's probably not super necessary. And then one. The Quasar pro combo probably gets a smidge worse now that our opponent uh, knows what's up, sees what's happening. Maybe just a march. Well, the removal's good, removal's good. Could you go down a harmless offering? Yeah, you know what? Let's go, let's go down one harmless offering right now like that. Well, I mean, not bad, not bad. Comboing off. Can we do it again? That's a real question. Wow, combo pieces for days. No lands, no, no farewells this time, but we'll keep it. I mean, this hand does have everything we want. Soul Guide Lantern, that's actually kind of good against us. Ugh. Shipwreck Marsh. What a blade's hand, it was already hovering. I was already hovering, so it was too late to change. Smithy. It's not really gonna matter, because our lands are coming into play tap the first two turns of the game pretty much always. Let's get the white mana out there. Rafine's Tower, go. Well, I mean, we got a plan. We'll see if it works. We do have double Quaza. Opponent, oh, he called Anvil. Wouldn't mind finding a farewell at some point. Opponent, gonna sack and ping. Sure, sure, sure. This graveyard hate's also good against the mastery. Oh, we draw a deserted beach. In that case, let's just play deserted beach. And we're probably just going to void rend the smith, I think. Maybe our opponent gets greedy and decides to draw a card. And now we can start running out Quasas. Opponent, implement of combustion. No reason to kill the ingenious myth yet. We can wait. When he goes to combat, he gets in hits us. Well, yeah, let's get rid of it. Smith down. We dropped 16. Double up Nixless, eh? Well, that's, uh, that's annoying. We don't really have a good way to pressure that, and that also gets around Farewell. Yeah, that's a concern. Down to 12. Pony does only have two cards in hand, but they have many Obnix Lisses. I'll play a land. Yeah, I think we got a Demonic Pact here, actually. I think that's more important than a Quaza. 
if our opponent didn't have the soul guide lantern it would be kind of fine because we could just fill our graveyard and then lich's mastery but the soul guide lantern is gonna make that troubling opponent hits us all right, Raid of Oblivion, sacks the token, gets back the token. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I think we're in trouble. This, oh my goodness. Ingenious Smith. Yeah, I think we might be in trouble this time with these double. This is a weird deck. Double Obnixilis is. Opponent takes up Obnixilis. Down to eight. I'll discard a Quaza. And we know our opponent can just kill for free anything we play, which is even worse. And the graveyard hate demonic back. The soul guy lantern is ruining our day. I think we'd be fine. I think we'd be fine if it wasn't for the soul guy lantern. Because Alicia's mastery would carry. Well, we play a demonic pack. Opponent going to sack. Wow, the soul guy lantern. Okay. Well, either we. Hmm. Interesting. They sack the graveyard hate. Is there a chance this mastery? So we got a five, four three two one all right yeah it looks like we're gonna get to play a lich's mastery although i don't know if it's gonna be enough here with nothing on the battlefield and two i mean two obnixiluses that's the big that's the big problem about it deep 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 in the tank arena plays another smith it's an oni called anvil oh that's hilarious Hilariously, that actually gives our opponent lethal here. <laughs> they had to hit exactly that, and they did. All right, fair enough. <laughs> wow, opponent took the, I mean, I guess. With double up Nixilis, maybe it doesn't matter, but they took the greedy line, and the greedy line definitely paid him off there. Run it back. Yeah, Nixilis, gonna be an issue for our deck, I think, because we just, we don't really pressure. We have a bunch of removal for Planeswalkers, but it's not like we can just beat it down. That is not a thing our deck can do. Well, we'll play first. Well, we got a bunch of removal for Planeswalkers. That's something. Gonna need red mana for this Maestro's Charm. We'll see if our opponent just has the Obnixilus Dream. Their draw the first game was a lot less awkward double creature lands here um yeah play high with eye tyrant go opponent land only call anvil sax it token perhaps obnixilis draws a card opponent passes faith Mending. Well, play Hall of the Storm Giants and pass the turn. At least if they double up Dink's list, we can kill one. That's something. Land. Opponent. Oswald Fiddlebender. All right. Well, that is not up Nixilis. And implement a combustion. So I guess the real question is are we killing this Fiddlebender? Even though it means giving up a fateful absence. My opponent sacks, draws, pings. Yeah, I mean, I think we got to get rid of the fiddle bender. Don't really want that going off. Untap, demonic pact. All right, your go, opponent. Do you have removal? Would be nice if we could draw a couple cards. Opponent shocks themselves. Ingenious Smith. Gonna go digging. Gonna find. Wow, only called Anvil. Opponent's been very good at finding. Uh, only called anvils. Only called anvil. Grows the smith. Hits us down to 15. Can sack the things. Yeah, we're gonna need a sweeper at some point. I mean, I guess we just snipe the smith. Gain some life. We do draw land, which is good. It's even a red land, which is even better. Only have one white source at the moment. Oh, well, we're playing the land for sure. We would like to find a farewell. I guess we have two turns to find. You know what? Hey, you know what? Demonic backed. <laughs> no fear. No fear in Lich's Masteryville. So we have two turns without dying. Wow, sacking? You don't even get your token back. All right, down to 17. Up and only called anvil number three and able to earn epicure well we definitely would like to find a farewell that's high on our to-do list harmless offering could also be sweet although i'm not sure it's gonna be enough so opponent makes a ton of tokens goes to combat hits us down to 13. all right so let's think about this Oh, we can make our opponent discard their hand. I mean, I guess that's probably worth it. We do have to be wary of just killing ourselves here accidentally. 
Yeah, I mean, you discard some cards. You discard some cards. So get our opponent empty-handed. We draw Celestis. Play Celestis. And pass the turn. I don't know about this sacking the tokens. Like, doesn't our opponent get a damage by not sacking the tokens, by attacking with them? Like, is this actually increasing our opponent's damage? It doesn't seem like it to me. Down to 11. Sure, sure, sure. Well, now we get to Maestro's Charm to go five cards deep to find a way to not die. Lich's Mastery Farewell. Also, Harmless Offering, I think would do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sure. So we dropped to six. Well, be good Maestro's Charm. I mean, we should hit something, right? Five cards is a pretty, pretty deep dig. And then we can also draw with the demonic packs. So we're gonna see a ton of cards here to find one of our, one of our answers. Oh, do they draw Right of Oblivion? Seems like they might have drawn Right of Oblivion. Okay, going to get rid of the demonic, wow. They actually answered the demonic pack that's closest to, closest to killing us hilariously. Okay, makes a bunch of tokens. Well, uh, Maestro's Charm. Five cards deep. Well, that is a Lich's Mastery. One card in the graveyard. Does that even save us here? I'm not sure that it does, awkwardly. I mean, I guess we get to draw... What modes do we have left with this? Draw two cards, gain four. Well, I mean, we're not taking a land, so we're gonna take the Mastery, and then we'll figure it out as we go. This would be much better if we could find a Sweeper first. Uh, we're going to draw two cards. Poesa, Harmless Offering, Farewell. There it is. There it is. So I think we... Farewell. Artifacts and Creatures. Artifacts, Creatures. We're going to keep our Demonic Pact. Yeah. All right. Get rid of them. <laughs> We found it, we found it. So we get rid of the artifacts and creatures, we drop to three. A little greedy to keep the demonic pack in case our opponent draws thought seize, but as long as our opponent doesn't draw thought seize, then we can just get the, we should be able to get the harmless offering win because our opponent's not gonna have a permanent to sack to flash back this, this right of oblivion. Gets Yangatha, I think we, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him, we got him. For you gain a bit of life. Well, sometimes the backup plan comes through opponent. I have a gift. Don't worry, it's harmless. And uh, your go, friend. <laughs> Got him! <laughs> well, that was the full experience of this deck. We got him with the, the Quasar combo game one. Lost game two brutally. Game three, backup plan. Demonic Pact. Hand him over. Harmless offering. Sweet, sweet, sweet. We'll take it. Sweet, sweet. Uh Yes, that's time. We are Lich's Mysterying and Explore. And this hand actually looks kind of fine. Not much defense, but we got Lich's Mastery and Demonic Pact, and we can ramp into it. And we got some filtering. We'll see if we're fast enough. Probably gonna need some removal or something at some point. Yeah, probably lead with the tap land into Hive, into an untap land in Celestis. See what our opponent's doing, that's a real, that's the real question. Uh, all right, Shipwreck Marsh, go. Rakdos, eh? Well, Hive of the Eye Tyrant, go. Hello, hello, Gif. It could just be a mid-range deck. Opponent, I mean, you see these lands, you probably think we're some sort of control deck, but no one expects Lich's Mastery, Demonic Pact, etc. Opponent, Blood Crypt, untapped passes. Well, we will untap land Celestis. We still kind of look like Esper Control at the moment when we are very much not. Opponent. Gonna stomp our face. Sure, sure, sure. I mean, this kind of works. We can tap land demonic. Ah, Thoughtseize is a concern. Fable the Mirror Breaker, sure. Oh, March of Wretched Souls. You know what? We're, I think we are going. Well, we could just kill this. How bad is it if our opponent gets a treasure? You know, I think we gotta. Let's demonic pact. Demonic pact tap land. I mean, this sets us up to hopefully do sweet things next turn. Get down the Lich's Mastery with multiple card draw effects in hand. We do need to be aware of taking too much damage. We got nothing in the graveyard yet. 
opponent, discard some bad removal spells. Hopefully he doesn't draw thought seizes. Draws a thought seize. All right, all right, all right. Well, I assume we're losing our Lich's mastery. Well, now we gotta find uh, something off this demonic pact. I would be shocked if they took anything other than, I mean, they gotta take mastery, right? Yeah, take some mastery. Use their treasure for some reason. Plays a land. Bone crush a giant. Oh wait, no, they're making their treasure now. I'm not that smart. How many cards does our opponent have? Four. We're at 16. Yeah, let's kill the bone crusher. Go back up to 20. Play the land. Yeah, let's just pass and sell us this. We do need to find the answer to this demonic pact at some point. Or just more demonic packs. Uh, let's discard faithful mending. We're gonna be able to kill ourselves in multiple ways. <laughs> Opponent. Reflections a kiki jiki. Yeah, I mean, I guess our opponent keeps getting treasures here. Sure. We probably gotta kill the reflections, I think. That is a, a scary, scary card. About it. Another fable of the mirror breaker. So we're gonna need a farewell. Farewell or Lich's Mastery, or Harmless Offering, any of those would do. We do get to at least draw two off Demonic Pact. Blood Tithe Havista. One, two, three, four. All right, let's just, let's just go all out on this Reflections. Gain a bunch of life. Faithful Mending is gonna be better next turn after we draw with Demonic Pact anyway. All right, so. Draw two cards. Do we find an answer? Or do we die to our own? Oh boy, two lands, okay. We get to loot with Celestis. Even more lands. Well, uh, discard a land. Maestro's Charm, that is good digging. One, two, three, one, two, three. Let's play a Trio. Pass the turn. I mean, we're just, we're all in on digging for an answer. We'll take our beats. We'll take our beats, opponent can do whatever. And we hope that between Maestro's Charm, Faithful Mending, and Celestis, we can find a way to not die to our Demonic Pact. I mean, the odds seem pretty good. Pony having a Thought Seize would be problematic. Well, loot with Celestis. Discard a land. I mean, we get to see so many cards that there should be, unless we get our stuff stripped with Thought Seas, there's a decent chance that we'll, we'll be able to find it. Pwn's gonna have all the mana. We are at 26, though. All right, opponent discards draws, goes to combat attacks. Yep. Treasure, treasure. Down to 19. Chandra, okay. Well, that doesn't just beat us. Takes up, fatal push, doesn't do anything. Down to 17. Wouldn't mind our opponent casting another card so we can Celestis. All right, Fable the Mirror Breaker. All right, so Celestis is gonna trigger. Well, <laughs> can we find it? The age old question. Faithful Mending. With and with. All right, not a great start. Maestro's Charm, five cards deep. I mean, I think we just take the harm. We don't die this turn, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, all right, uh, take Harmless Offering. I think we just go on the Demonic Pack plan. So we untap, make our opponent discard their last two cards. I mean, this should be a guaranteed win, right? We get to loot, discard a land, Wow, we drew a ton of lands, but we found what we needed. And then uh, opponent, demonic pack for you, and play the land, and pass the turn, and opponent, make your choice. <laughs> the choice is yours, opponent. Uh, all right, opponent, Ragdos, mid-range. So we wanna dodge the thought seizes. That's step one and step two. Void Rain could be good to snipe a Planeswalker. What would we cut, though? We can go down the chance for glory. Farewell's good, Pack's good, Quaze's a combo piece. Eh, how about one March of Wretched Souls? Running like that. Well, game one went well, surprisingly well. The demonic pack combo actually, I mean, when it works, it really works. All right, opponent's on the play for game number two. We didn't get to Lich's Mastery though, unfortunately. Opponent's deck's a little scary just because they have so much discard. All right, mana's good. 
Celestis could be good. I assume we're getting Thoughtseize, but yeah. There's the Thoughtseize. Takes the farewell. Ah, uh, I like Faithful Mending. We got a handful of land, so Faithful Mending is actually kind of nice. Ponet land and Blood Tithe Harvester. Well, all the Storm Giants go. Opponent gets and hits us. Down to 17. Graveyard Trespasser. That is annoying. Now, well, let's Faithful Mending. Discard and discard. Well, I don't know. I don't know about this. There's Kueza. Oh, play the land. Play Celestis. So, Bonnet's going to be able to eat the Faithful Mending, unfortunately. They might not have much creature removal left in their deck, honestly. Discards and Licensers. Yeah, Bonnet's got Graveyard Hate for days. Another Thought Seize. Well, that's bad. So, I assume they take Kueza and then eat the Faithful Mending, and then we're actually kind of in a sketchy spot here. Graveyard Hate is good against us because it's good against Lich's Mastery. A Bonnet takes Kueza. Plays a land, unlicense hearse. Pona's not a one card. I guess the good news is if we can find like a farewell or something, we can kind of just take our opponent right out of the game. Obviously, Faithful Mending. No? Okay. Leaves a Faithful Mending. That's surprising. Oh, they get to eat it with the hearse. I see. I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Then they get to uh, gain a life. All right. Come on, deck. Demonic Pact. Well, I mean, we are going to play it. Play the Haunted Ridge, pass the turn. Is it enough to keep us alive? Opponent, token. Land. Out of cards. What we'd really love is to draw Farewell. Farewell wins us the game, should win us the game. Oh, they're gonna flip the Graveyard Trespasser, unfortunately. Now we're gonna have to think about this. Three, six, so we're dropping to four. What do we do with the demonic pack? That's the question. Four. Well, let's loot. Oh boy. Okay, we gotta think about this. So if we shoot this down, we go to eight, but then we take four. That might keep us alive. I mean, I guess on board it would keep us alive, right? Well, if they draw a creature, we're dead. You know what? Let's just draw two. I think we need to draw an answer. Uh, draw two. Loot. Discard Harmless Offering. Now we're dead, right? We play Kawhi, so we die. Yeah, I think we're dead no matter what. Lich's Mastery. This Graveyard Hates ruining our day. Yeah, all right. Yep, yep, yep. The problem is if our opponent drew a creature that could crew their unlicensers, we're dead even through the removal mode, a Demonic Pact. If we could hit something like... If we could hit something like uh, Farewell, then we're just good. That's a, that's a tough call. That's a really tough call. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what the best call was there. I mean, it didn't work out, but there's a lot of risk with the other plan too. We are on the play for game number three and we're gonna keep this. I mean, we need to hit a land or two, but we got some removal, which is good. We're not especially susceptible to a Thought Seize, which is nice. Yeah, tap land go. So we just gotta draw, just gotta draw some lands. That's all. Opponent, Swamp, Soul Guide, wow, so much Graveyard Hate, so much Graveyard Hate, well, Xander's Lounge, go, land is good, yeah, the amount of Graveyard Hate our opponent has is obnoxious, opponent, land, Blood, Tithe Havista. yeah, I think we gotta play the White Source, so we can Sacred Fire something, Opponent. Does mean we don't get to Demonic Pack next turn. I don't think we're going to Sacred Fire the Blood Tithe Harvester. We'll take the damage. We'd rather be able to kill a Fable of the Mirror Breaker token if that comes down. Fable of the Mirror Breaker. Well, kill the token. I'm going to sack that just to get rid of the <laughs> six mana flashback spell. Ooh, there's some mastery. All right, play the tap land. Pass the turn. I feel like we got a shot. Opponent gets to loot. We might end up digging for a land with Maestro's Charm. Opponent, wow, discards two creatures. Oh, creature in Hyger Mauling, okay. Goes to combat. Down to 16. Wow, sacks the blood. Opponent's hand must not be very good. Draws a card. Another Blood Tithe Harvest, huh? So we're taking six? You know what, we're gonna dig. 
Dig with a Maestro's Charm. Rafine's Tower. Mail some cards. Play Demonic Pact. Play Rafine's Tower. Pass the turn. In a perfect world, we dodge discard in Farewell, and then we're set up to you, Lich's Mastery. Uh, I mean, then we're, I mean, if this Farewell resolves, we should be good. Pwn it. Discards a land, draws a card. Big turn. Big, big, big turn. About it. We know they can nuke the graveyard, but, eh, sure. There goes our shock, I guess. Found it flips the saga. Well, do you got a thought seize? That is the question. If they have a thought seize, this could go wrong. Opponent hits us down to 10. If they don't have a thought seize and we get to farewell though, life is good. Oh, it's so good. So we're in the mirthless. Okay, well, not a thought seize. Takes it up. Gets a duress. What is Soren at five? That's annoying. Yeah, let's hit the Soren. Farewell creatures. Pass the turn. About it, Tigs up Soren. Land. Duress. Takes the harmless offering. Lich's mastery on empty battlefields kind of insane. Although we did use the draw four mode. Graveyard trespasser. Huh? All right, annoying for sure. Well, we will draw two cards. Lich's Mastery. Trio. Go. I mean, oh, this potentially sets us up for the Quasi Combo Kill next turn. Found it. Land. Sure. Stomps our face. Farewell. Demonic Pact. Oh, so we're not going to be able to win next turn. Bona hits us. Uh, brutal. Two, three. Oh, uh, this incidental graveyard hate is making our life very difficult. Very, very difficult. If they didn't have the Bone Crusher, this would have worked. That. Ah. That's what got us. That's the unfortunate part of this. Opponent runs out of Bone Crusher. And we draw tap land, and now we're one short of doing anything, and we're dead. Eldarain! The Bone Crusher, we had it. Against the odds time, we are seeing if it's possible to win with Lich's Mastery in in Explorer. And we don't have a Lich's Mastery, but Sand's not the worst. Opponent has a Thought Seize. All right, so hand's getting worse. Slowly but surely, thanks to our opponent's discard. Takes the Demonic Pact. Deep in the tank. The Goose Tank. Passes. Well, we'll play a Tap Land past the turn. Opponent. And even more Thought Seizes. Takes our Celestis. Makes the food passes. Well, we'll play the land. Pass the turn. Well, these faithful mendings could maybe find us something. Land or elves. Also going to depend on what's in our opponent's hand makes a food. I mean, so far, opponent's not doing a ton. Faithful mending. Discard faithful mending. Discard swamp. Well, there's Koeza. Maybe we just run out Koeza. We could, like, kill the land of elves. Does that even matter? Opponent you know what? Let's play Kueza. Run it out, pass the turn. Opponent probably has removal in hand. They haven't had anything to cast it on. Plays a land, binding the old god. So, opponent does indeed have removal in hand. There goes Kueza. Makes the food. Well, plays Andrew's Lounge, pass the turn. Now we'll see if our opponent ever draws a big bomb. We're going to be in kind of a bad spot. If we can find Lich's Mastery, trying to get lucky. Whiffs. Well, that's good. And a land. All right, so opponent is completely out of cards. Faithful Mending, show us that Lich's Mastery. Show us that Lich's Mastery. That's a Lich's Mastery. Okay, discard Harmless Offering. Now the fun begins. Discard Harmless Offering and Maestro's Charm. Okay. Okay, okay. I like it. 
I like it a lot. Uh, Shattered Sanctum. Lich's Mastery. <sighs> Alright, no whammy. No whammy. Potent. Ooh, Lair of the Hydra. Okay, that's a, that's a problem for future us. For sure. Gonna gain some life. Hits us for one. Well, we'll get rid of the swamp. Hall of the Storm Giants. Sacred Fire the Land War, draw two. Play the Celestis. Play Hall of the Storm Giants. I mean, we got enough cards that we shouldn't we shouldn't just die. This Lair of the Hydra is definitely obnoxious, but we should have enough to exile for now. Although we are gonna need to find an answer or something, because it's gonna keep getting bigger. Opponent, Lair of the Hydra is an 8-8, goes to combat. Oh, Faithful Mending. Oh my God, that's Quaza. Discard the two lands, keep the Quaza. Draw from Lich's Mastery. We got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. One. I think we got the combo. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So exile a bunch of stuff. Loot. Discard the farewell. Gain a life, draw a card. Okay. So, Kaweza. Oh, actually, yeah. We don't even need to draw a card. We can just. Hit the Gilded Goose? Start the loop? Huh! Yeah, pitching that. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, I guess it didn't really matter. We had to win either way. I was planning on winning with Chance for Glory. Quay's a Chance for Glory. Win on our extra turn. But March, I guess, just wins immediately. So, less spicy, but... Well, now Quaza does its thing. Ping, 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 ping. And we actually really, truly got there. <laughs> ping. <laughs> Very slowly, but it's working. It is, it is working. Down to 13, down to 12, down to 11. <laughs> well, there we go. It is possible. That's, that's how you do it. That's how you do it. I don't know what our opponent's deck is. We never saw the big finishers. You know they got them. This also draws us our entire deck, which is pretty sweet. Although, un unnecessary. Ping ya. Ping ya. Ping ya. Ping ya. And got him! <laughs> there we go. There we go. That is that is what we wanted to see. All right. Opponents playing. I don't even know. Well, I guess Blood Chief's Thirst seems good. We can probably get on the chance for glory. Maybe a demonic pact. And I guess just run it like that? Like, ugh, we didn't see the threats. We didn't see the finishers. We saw ramp in binding the old gods, which definitely suggests a ramp deck. The combination of all the mana dorks and binding makes you think maybe fight rigging, maybe our opponent's just ramping into big stuff, but tiny industry, maybe? Planeswalkers, perhaps? There is a chance that we want to be bringing in thought seizes, but we kind of want more information. Well, we actually have the full combo. We'll see if our opponent gets off to a super fast Mana Dork start. All right, tap land go. No turn one Mana Dork's nice. Opponent, Ranger class. Well, Xander's Lounge, go. Opponent, Lana War Elves. And gonna level up. Well, looks like the Wolf's gonna live. Opponent gets it and hits us. Well, play Rafine's Tower. Kill the elf. Ship the turn. I mean, we have the full combo again. Should we be able to resolve it? Go blank. Um, well, Lich's Mastery, Harmless Offering. And that gets rid of our card in the graveyard. Go blank is good against us. Bonnet gets in, grows the door, hits us. Yeah, play the land, play Quaza. Ship the turn. This wolf is just outscaling our March of Wretched Souls. Opponent gets in, grows the dork. No blocks. Down to 10. Levels up. Plays on land. Gets pinged. 
Well, it didn't hit you. Oh, I really don't want to do this, but I think we have to pitch the Lich's Mastery, unfortunately. Like, I think we have to, we have to. This is a bummer, because we're oh, having to exile our combo pieces, but the wolf is going to make it impossible to win with Mastery anyway, I think. Like, we're just too far behind the, the wolf ball. All right, werewolf pack leader. And a go blank to get rid of Xander's Lounge. I don't drain ya. Play a land. Go attacking. I mean, I guess we're the aggro now. <laughs> if we draw an untapped land, we can haul the Storm Giants. Opponent binding the old gods. There goes Quaza. Opponent goes combat, gets and hits us. Grows the dork. And untapped land. Wow, untapped land. All right, well, haul the Storm Giants. Hit ya. Down to five. Opponent on taps. Is there a chance the janky creature land backup, backup, backup land can steal? We really need our opponent not to play another blocker here. Wow, okay. So they hit a graveyard trespasser, which keeps our opponent alive. Plays werewolf pack leader off the top of their, oh no. Well, that's unfortunate. Now I think we're most likely going to lose. That is exactly what we needed not to have happen. Wow. Xander's Lounge doesn't do anything. And then our opponent draws. Yeah. Yeah, this is. I mean, we're dead. And they get Death Touch. The only reason we're staying in the game is... Oh, actually, they just win because of Death Touch Trample. <laughs> All right. So the top of our opponent's deck was... Very kind. <laughs> we almost got there. So opponent's just playing Golgari cards, I guess, would be a good name for it. It is literally just cards that are in Golgari colors. Run it back. Come on, deck. Come on, deck. We, oh, I mean, we got the combo kill for the game win, which is nice. I mean, that's a lot of Kuezas. Nothing else. Literally nothing else. I'm afraid we'll just be dead before we even start playing stuff, but all right. I don't know if we can play the Kueza deck and then just and then just mulligan because we have Kueza. I mean, I guess it means one's likely to survive. I'm just worried about uh, getting run over before, before we even do anything. All right, opponent, after great deliberation, decides to play their one drop. Uh, well, Haunted Ridge, go. Untap land. And a graveyard trespasser. Yeah, that's pretty good against us. I'll play the land. March of Wretched Souls. Exile Equase on Wow, this is actually brutal. Yeah, Graveyard Trespasser is a card. So we exile Equase. We discard Faithful Mending. But we dealt with a threat. A single threat has been dealt with about it. I feel like we just 10 for one ourselves to kill a three drop. Wow, okay. Opponent's missing land drops. That's good news. Well, we'll run out Quaza. Pass the turn. Well, the fact that our opponent missed that land drop is good for us. They went all in on the grave. So our graveyard trespasser play ended up working out better than expected, honestly. Brutal, go blank, rass our hand. Gets drained. Well, go to combat, hit you with Koeza. Down to 12, pass the turn. Opponent finds a land. Lots of graveyard hate, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, I guess we just burn our opponent down to nine, down to seven. The problem is we don't have many ways to deal damage. Makes a food. Wow. Wow, we were so close. Wow. We could burn our opponent to one. Are we going to come up one point of damage short? Looking like... Wow, that is brutal. Yeah, there goes Kueza. Opponent passes. Well, we'll pass the turn. Pota gets to wrap. We could have drawn two, but two wasn't enough. Our opponent would just survive. Tap land. 
Oh, and this puts our opponent to three, to four. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna be the closest loss ever. With our opponent at three, with our opponent at three, we could get him with a Maestro's Charm, but now we can't. Now our opponent is out of range. And I'm not sure, I'm not sure how we can, how we can do this now. One point of damage short. This was almost, oh, this was almost a Quasar Dream. Well, I mean, I guess this shows, oh jeez. I guess this shows how, maybe we should just let this go actually and then flash it back, but then there's a graveyard glutton. Yeah, I guess we should have let it go. I'll discard the two, yeah, I think that, so that was actually a punt that might've been relevant. Because that Maestro's Charm with our opponent Thought Seizing would have actually mattered. Actually, no, it wouldn't have because they have the Goose that can gain life. So I guess it doesn't matter either way. Opponent, Graveyard Glutton, gets in, exiles our cards. Goes back up to three. But yeah, the Gilded Goose just, just gains our opponent enough life that it wouldn't have made a difference either way. It still would have been better to do it later, but we wouldn't have won the game. The opponent back up to six. Gilda Goose going off. Opponent back into the tank. This one was disappointing just because how close we were. This does show how hard it is for Quaza to matter outside the combo. Like the idea, I, I've had some people send me some viewer submitted decks that were built around the idea of like, oh, I'm gonna play Quaza, uh, I'm gonna play Quaza and I'm going to like connive, you know, I'm gonna connive. I got a bunch of connive cards. That's gonna get me there. That's not gonna work. This game is a, uh, jeez, um. Well, our opponent's also drawn many copies of uh, of their best card in this matchup in Graveyard Trespasser. That's not actually a realistic plan. Like, even if you fill your deck with connive cards, as we're seeing here, like, you can kind of get a little bit close to doing something good, but the odds of actually having something, uh, actually having it be enough to win the game are incredibly small. You really need, you need a miracle. And we almost got the miracle this game for the match win, but not quite. Opponent, back into the tank. We draw land, we play the land, we pass the turn. An opponent, werewolf pack leader. At this point, we're just kind of playing out the, playing out the, the string so we don't get yelled at. So I guess there's like some world where we go land into farewell and then our opponent, you know, doesn't reassemble stuff. That's uh, something that's theoretically possible. Opponent gets in, but our opponent's gonna start drawing cards. They're growing their stuff. Our graveyard's getting exiled by the triple graveyard glen draw, so. That means that Lich's Mastery can't be played deep in the tank again. These goose tanks, I don't even know what's going on. Why, why, why? What is there to possibly tank about at this point? Sacking the treasure to play a Llanowar Elf or something? Like, I don't, I don't see it. All right, tap land, go. Well, farewell. If we draw a farewell this turn, I guess we're theoretically a tiny, tiny, tiny bit in the game. Opponent's gonna have four cards in hand. We're gonna have zero, but you never know, maybe maybe they're all lands. Maybe they're all lands, another ranger class. Okay, well, oh, I can't believe we were at one, we had our opponent at one. We needed our opponent to like whip on that land for one turn. That was so incredibly close to getting the fair Quaza win. So opponent gets in, draws a bunch more cards. Well, we draw one more card and see if it's farewell. If it's farewell, we continue to play. If it's not, we'll always have game one. Opponent grows a dork, gets in, down to eight. I really don't understand this post-combat, like, tank every turn. Okay, opponent levels up a ranger class. It is not farewell, and we will sadly scoop it up. Ouch, so close. Against the odds time, we are seeing if it's possible to combo off with Quaza in Lich's Mastery in Explorer. And we got Quaza. We don't actually have any white mana for any of those cards, but hopefully we find it. I mean, we have a million Triumphs in our deck, so it seems like there should be a chance, spawn it. Tap land. Well, we will play Xander's Lounge past the turn. Land, well, Haunted Ridge, go. I mean, if we don't get Thoughtseize, we are just gonna run out this Demonic Pact. <laughs> if we die, we die. Uh, land, Demonic Pact. Go, 
Hopefully this finds us our lands, which will find us. If we can find the mana for either, oh, there's a thought seize. So if we can find the mana for either the Farewell or the Le Lich's Mastery, we won't add a Demonic Pact. We could also draw on the Harmless Offering, which would just win with Demonic Pact. So there's a bunch of ways this could work out. Opponent takes the Lich's Mastery. Even just finding white mana to, oh, they're Grixis Crim. <laughs> All right, well, that's gonna make it worse. We do find white mana though, which is good. Well, play Deserted Beach. Yeah, I mean, I think we need to start Faithful Mending. Now that we know our opponent's a Grixis control deck, that makes things a lot worse. Because that means our opponent can just use counter spells to win the game here. Uh, discard Kueza. Discard Faithful Mending. Maestro's Charm. Five cards deep. So we need the White Source. I mean, let's take the untap land, I guess. Yeah, take an untap land. Mill some cards. Untap, make our opponent discard some cards. Land and shatter skull smashing. Well, play a triome. Harmless offering. Gets countered, I assume. Well, that's interesting. Opponent does not actually have the... Okay, okay, well... <laughs> <laughs> that changes things. Opponent did not have a... Huh? Wow! No counter! Well! <laughs> Got him, I guess. I thought that that had like a 0% chance of working, but work it did. Somehow. Somehow, some way. But when we bring in the Thought Seizes, when we bring in the Dovin's Vetoes, those seem pretty good. We can trim probably like a Farewell. Maybe a March? Voidrend also seems interesting. They probably have Planeswalkers. All right, let's go up one Void went, uh, Rend. Go two Farewells. We kind of want to keep some Farewells to combo with Lich's Mastery, but we stole it somehow. <laughs> Least likely win. I was sure they had a counter. Sometimes they don't have it. I mean, the idea was we could Harmless off rig, and then if it didn't work out, we could... Sounds actually kind of sweet. And then if it didn't work out, we could try to Farewell the following turn. Well, this hand, we're going to have to hit our lands, although we have a lot of filtering, but we have some good defense. Opponent, Melky. That's a Wifferino. It does let our opponent see our hand, though. Well, that's Thought Seize you. Those cards are all busted. Uh, So this goes up to, what, five? So Maestro's Charm can kill it. Invoke's going to be a draw three. So I guess our hope is counter a Planeswalker, kill a Planeswalker? All right, take the Invoke. I mean, we do have the, the Dovin's Veto. Opponent just has two five mana Planeswalkers. Maestro's Charm can potentially kill one of them. Dovin's Veto can potentially answer one of them. Okay. That requires nothing ugh, going wrong. Well, something went wrong. I mean, they got a thought seize a Veto, right? Yeah. There goes the Veto. Opponent plays the land. Gets and hits us. Well, we need to find more answers. Play the Trio. I guess our opponent whiffing on lands for a turn or two would also be kind of helpful. Opponent goes to combat. Going to get in and hit us. Down to 14. Tap land. Faithful Mending. Discard two Harmless Offerings, I think. Well, uh, yeah, play a land. Demonic Pact. So opponent can play a Planeswalker if they drew a land. And they did. And they play Nicol Bolas. We will exile Faithful Mending. This is like sort of okay though. Opponent hits us because Maestro's Charm kills the Nicol Bolas. Make our opponent discard. Now I kind of wish we held on to a Harmless Offering. Discards a bunch of Planeswalkers. Well, we will... Kill the Nicole Bolas. What is our opponent's hand if they discarded Chandra Lol? Did they just draw into like another, another Ugin? Or another uh, Nicole Bolas? Duress takes the mastery. It's us. Well, we will draw two cards. We're gonna need to find something. Vito is not something. Yes, it's a. Uh... Oh, this is bad. This is real bad. Yeah, I think we might be dying to our own demonic pact here. Opponent goes to combat, gets and hits us. Down to 10. Lolf. Well, okay. Harmless offering, please. Well, faithful mending. Yeah, looking, looking dead. Looking dead. Opponent's gonna make some dorks. Well, we get to kill the Lolf, but. Unless we get incredibly lucky. 
I don't even know. Do we even have another harmless offering? Did we sideboard one out? All right. Dead. <laughs> Well, that's a demonic pack life. Sometimes, sometimes you uh, packed your opponent. Sometimes your opponent packs you. We did have one more harmless offering. Well, we definitely want another Void Ren now that we see what our opponent's deck is, which is essentially just super friends, I guess. And I guess we just go down the farewells, even though that means we can't win by harmless offering a mastery. So we probably cut, I mean, we probably cut a, a harmless offering then. All right. Run it back. So opponents just straight up, ugh, every every planeswalker, every discard spell appears to be the recipe for our opponent. One land, new no keep. All right, well, I mean, we'll keep this. Unfortunately, our love of tap lands means our opponent does get to thought seize first if they have one. All right, opponent plays a tap land. Well, we will thought seize you. Bone Crusher, double Coligan's Command. I'll take a Coligan's Command. Play Xander's Lounge past the turn. Bone Crusher, main phase. Doesn't want to counter it, I guess. Yeah, let's just tap land. We can try to get down the Quaza next turn. Opponent, land in Bone Crusher Giant. Well, Deserta Beach, Quaza go. Hopefully our opponent does not have a Planeswalker. Yep down to 12. Land and Nicole Bolas the Ravager. A good draw for our opponent. I guess we gotta discard the land. Kill Nicole Bolas. Hit you with Quaza. The problem is this Coligan's Command makes us discard our last card and gets back the Nicole Bolas to make... Well, or they can also draw Thoughtseize. So yeah, now we're just empty-handed forever, which is bad. They can cast this on our draw step to get rid of whatever we drew and get back to Nicole Bolas. So we're going to need something that doesn't exist to happen, I think. Well, Void Run's actually cute. That, that at least does something here. So kill the Bone Crusher. Opponent still gets back Nicole Bolas. They get drained. They get attacked. But this does mean, like, uh, there's a chance. If we draw the right thing, there's still a chance that we're in this game. Opponent, tap land. Nicole Bolas returns. Flips next turn. Nothing to discard. Gets drained. We draw nothing. And yeah, flip Nicole Bolas. Pretty strong. And yeah, now there's. Hmm. Well, or just plays a Lolf, okay, that also is legal. Well, uh, I guess if we draw Mastery, you never know. Harmless Offering. Well, alright, opponent. There you go, friend. <laughs> oh. Alright, against the odds time, we are trying to combo off with Lich's Mastery Quaza, and we actually have the whole combo in hand. Nothing else at all, but... We do have the combo. Opponent appears to be getting aggressive. Gets in with Pelt Collector. Oh boy, another one. I think we just gotta kill a Pelt Collector here. Too risky to let him go. Land. Grackmaw. Gets in, hits us. Well, play the tap land. Pass the turn, take our beats. Gonna need to find more removal, I think. Harden scales. Jugan defends the temple. Well, do some looting, discard, and discard. Photo makes it dark, hits us for a bunch. Well, play Kaweza. I'm just not sure we can live long enough here. Opponent's gonna get to put a bunch of counters on things. And I don't know, unless we draw removal, I don't think we're gonna survive, even with this Quaza. Opponent makes their things huge. Hits us for a million. Yeah, well, come on, removal spell. Right now, please. Oh my God. Well, opponent. Yeah, that's not a removal spell. Drain ya, and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we need Faithful Mending, I guess, but I don't think we have anything we can hit here that matters. Discard a card, discard a card. 
gain a little bit of life. We can deal four damage, but that doesn't do anything. Yeah. All right. Well. <laughs> All right. Pony got off to the the hardened scale start. Uh. Well, fateful absence in. Blood Chief's thirst, I guess. In. Uh. Void Ren, perhaps. Go down. Chance for glory. Probably good on Sacred Foundry, because it seems that our opponent's playing mostly massive creatures and run it like that. Well, we're going to be in the play, which should help. Um, losing the die roll against a deck like that, definitely not where we want to be. We even had the combo this game, that game, we just could not, could not survive. We'll play first. I mean, we got to keep this. Gotta keep it. We got the farewell. Finding a land to get down the Celestis is going to be essential. All right, uh, Ravine's Tower, number two. Well, that's good. That gets us to the Celestis, which gets us to the Maestro's Charm, which could get us to the Farewell. Uh, play the land, play Celestis. And we even do have the Lich's Mastery. Opponent, Winding Constrictor. Gets him for six. Now play the land, pass the turn, loot. Discard a oh, probably the demonic pact, unfortunately. All right. Well, we'll see. This is actually a tough position. Yeah, I mean, I guess we take it. We just got to hit an untap land. If we hit an untap land of Maestro's Charm, we get to farewell and then we are fine. Oh, all right, that's a tap land. Okay, there's an untap land. Well, farewell. Get rid of all creatures, thank goodness. Ha! Ah, bullet dodge, bullet dodged, okay. Wow, that was close. Opponent, Llanowar Elves. Well, now I think we get to get down Lich's Mastery. Pass the turn, and hopefully now we're off to the races. If we draw a Triome, we win with a Quasar combo. Doing an Avenza Tempo. We just need, a draw an untap land would do it, Harmless Offering. Well, farewell, creatures. Actually, we could donate it. We could Harmless Offering the Lich's Mastery. You know what, let's just, let's sell us this. There's the land, discard Harmless Offering. Gain a life, draw even more farewells, play the farewell. Void Ren Jugan defends the temple. I mean, we are gonna win with the combo. So Quaza, we need to gain a life or draw a card to start the combo. And then we proceed to, to win the game. Uh, exile, exile. Thankfully, we're not under that much pressure. So we got time and we can farewell again. All right, opponent running out their stuff, growing their stuff. All right, that works. Quaza. Faithful Mending, and there's the combo. All right, that was that was good. That was good. Discard, discard. Who? Oh, and here comes the Quasar Loop. Ping ya, ping ya. Draw, draw, draw. <laughs> uh, so this is gonna happen 18 or, or so times until our opponent's life total hits zero. And uh, yeah, I mean the combo when we can get it set up, it is very good at winning the game. Not always that easy to get set up though, <laughs> as we've as we've seen in various games. Like Quasar dies, or it's uh, Lich's Mastery can be tough to get on the battlefield. Bone it down to ten. Bone it down to nine. Bone it down to eight. Cool to see a hardened scales deck in uh, in Explorer. That's not something I've seen much. Opponent, <laughs> drain ya, drain ya, drain ya, drain ya, drain ya. And we get to draw a ton of cards, which is cool. In theory, we could be casting instants in between with triggers on the stack. It's not, it doesn't really do anything. It's not necessary, but worth keeping in mind if there was, we could draw a bunch of cards and then and then cast spells if we had to get something off the battlefield or whatever to win. Draw into a, a Void Ren to get rid of, I don't know, a Ley Line or something. We're on the draw. We gotta be able to kill things early. We gotta live. So maybe we need the marches. Maybe we gotta go down like a Demonic Pact and a Harmless Offering. 
we probably just want as much early game removal as possible. Maybe a Maestro's Charm. Let's try it like that. Little bit more early game removal, because the easiest way we lose is what happens in game one, where opponents on the play, they curve out, and we're just too slow getting to either the combo or the farewell. But it worked that game. That was a good one. Hardened Scales versus Lynch's Mastery. We're gonna keep it. The colors of our mana are gonna be good. They're also gonna come into play tap. There's a the Pelt Collector. Harmless off, you know what? Harmless offering wasn't super high on our to draw list. <laughs> in all honesty, Bounty gets in, hits us. And thought, ooh, thought seizes. Well, I assume that's gonna be the Maestro's Charm. That's our one removal spell. Wow, it takes Quaza. And we draw another Quaza. All right, opponent, land. Jugan defends the temple. And gets in, hits us. Black, blue, white. Well, play the... Play the Haunted Ridge. Blow up Jugan defends the temple. I mean, we'd have to deal with this eventually, so we might as well try to stop the counter. So, okay. Down to 15. Well, tap land. So I guess we need to Maestros charm the Pelucranos just to shrink it. That is awkward. Hit the Pelucranos. We drop to 11. Come on, no follow-ups. Opponent passes. Well, Demonic Pact and a tap land. Oh, hold, 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 hold. We got a shot. We got a shot about it. Because this could get us some life. We got the Mastery. We got the Koeza. We even have the Harmless Offering. Harden scales. Okay, that's a problem for future us. Opponent hits us down to seven. Passes. Well, I mean, I think we got to get rid of our opponent's last two cards. March of Wretched Souls. Okay, okay. Pass the turn. Are we just all in on... Because uh, if they draw a removal spell they can use on their own creature, that would be bad. Oh, they have the Pelucranos. I think we just do this. I think we actually... Exile our hand, kill the Pelt Collector, go up to 15. We're just, we're all in on the Demonic Pact. We're all in on the Demonic Pact. Phone hits us to 13. Passes. Four damage to the token. I think we just give it away, give it away, give it away right now. So Bona's gonna get to draw two. But those two better win in the game or get rid of the demonic pact. Hold, hold, found it land. Found collector, that doesn't matter. Grack ball, that doesn't matter. I think our opponent's choosing death. I think they're choosing death and we got there. We got there. Thought see, wow. Oh, good thing we gave away the pact. Salistus, might as well. An opponent, <laughs> make your choice. Make your choice. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> well, that worked. It worked. We got both combos that game. That was a good one. Sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about Kuiza's mastery combo in Explore? And record-wise, the deck wasn't very good. We went two and six, I believe, overall. So we were able to win 25% of the time or whatever. Although we did also win a lot of games along the way. Like most of our matches, we were able to win a game, but putting the other two out of three to win a match, that proved to be a little bit challenging with the deck. So the deck, the combo itself, is pretty strong. We got to see Quasar Lich's Mastery win us a bunch of games. We got to see the backup, like Harmless Offering, Lich's Mastery, Farewell, or Harmless Offering, Demonic Pack. Those were really good at stealing games as well. So we got a bunch of ways to win the games. The problem is our main combo of Quasar and Lich's Mastery, that proved to be more challenging than I thought it would be. So once we get it all set up and on the battlefield, it's great. It won the game every time. There wasn't any problem there. The problem was twofold. First, with Quasar, we don't really have any other creatures in our deck, so it ain't a lot of removal spells. I think a lot of opponents just like 
everyone has removal in their deck to some extent, and they'd have a removal spell left in hand and be like, oh, I don't even know if this card's that good, but I might as well kill the Quaza because what else am I going to throw my removal at? So it was hard to get Quaza to stick on the battlefield. And then Lich's Mastery, it's kind of the same way. The problem isn't that our opponent can kill it because of Hexproof. That wasn't an issue. The issue is if our opponent can build a big board and we don't have a fully stocked graveyard or a ton of cards that we can exile when we take damage, we just can't play the Lich's Mastery. So a lot of times we almost need a, a third combo piece. Like we need to be able to farewell first to sweep the board and then follow up with the Lich's Mastery and Quasas. So that was kind of the challenge of the deck. Just a little bit hard to actually keep our combo pieces or get our combo pieces on the battlefield. But once we get them down, the combo was good and we got to see some sweet value turns where you just play Lich's Mastery and gain a bunch of life and kind of go off that way. I think Maestro's Charm, card's actually like absurd in the deck. It's so perfect for Lich's Mastery in like a bunch of ways. It's first mode digs for Lich's Mastery and puts four cards in the graveyard. And remember, we can exile cards from the graveyard to pay for the damage we take with Mastery out. So that mode is like built for Mastery. Then it can gain us three life by draining our opponent, which is three cards drawn with Lich's Mastery. So that's absurd. It draw three for three. And then it can also just kill something if we need it to. So that card is one of my favorite cards in this deck. It's just so synergistic. And really the whole deck list is synergistic. If you you look through this deck list, even our removal, even our ramp spells, they're actually comboing with our Lich's Mastery and supporting our theme. So I love the flavor of the deck. I love how it came together. I love how literally every single card in the main deck outside of lands is actually serving a purpose and not just being some random good card. But as far as actually winning games, I think this is kind of like a lower tier deck in terms of how strong it is, just because it's hard to keep the combo pieces on the battlefield. But when we do pull it off, it's pretty spectacular. So. Anyway, that's Quaza's Mastery. That's what Eric gets the odds for this week. Thanks for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will talk to you soon.